May the Lord bless and keep you. Let me say something. <sighs> when I make my videos, I am not trying to make anyone mad. I am not trying to make anyone cry. I am not trying to point my finger at anyone. I do these videos out of love, trying to help people, not to condemn, not to make you look funny or anything like that. I make these videos to help, not to harm. So if anything that I say is true to you, and let's say that it hurts you, I am not doing it to hurt you. I am doing these videos out of love, out of compassion. To be quite honest, I never wanted to teach. To be honest with you, I wanted to play video games all day, go to work, pretty much just have a simple life. <laughs> I never wanted to pray and do all of this right here and fast and I never wanted to do those things. But hey, I am here now. So keep this in mind. I am not trying to hurt you. I am not. Because the way that I am, or the way that I was, I guess you can say am, I am a person that mind his own business. Like this one lady told me that I am in my own bubble. <laughs> that is the way that I am. I don't go around trying to mess with people or anything like that or try to hurt or harm people. I don't have time for that. So let me get to my point or let me get to what I want to speak about. Uh, when people say things to us, we have to be careful in what we accept when people say things to us. What are you talking about, Kevin? Okay. Let me use this example. I forget when, maybe two or one year ago, I forget. This woman told me, Kevin, on this date here, on this particular date, watch out because something bad is going to happen to you. And <laughs> I thank God, this is why it is important to read the Bible. This is why it is important to seek God constantly. Now, if I was foolish, I would have accepted what that woman said to me. And I found out that woman is a witch. But anyways, she said to me, Kevin, on this certain day, I forget which day it was, something bad is going to happen to you. And when she said that, I know that death and life are in the power of the tongue, of our words. 
So what if I was dumb enough and accepted that woman's words? I would have cursed myself because of me being dumb enough to accept an evil person's words. We have to understand that words are powerful and what you believe in, if you believe that something bad is going to happen to you, it is going to happen to you. So when that woman said, Kevin, something bad is going to happen to you on a particular day, I told her, I reject what you say. I bind and cast it out. Whatever you say is not going to happen to me. Everything is going to be well. And when that day came, nothing happened. But what that woman was trying to do is get me focused on that day and trying to make me worry, trying to make me afraid, trying to whatever else. But I told her I reject what you say right now. What you say has no power over me. Let me give you another example. And this actually came from a family member. A particular person did not agree with what I was saying or doing. So what this person said to me, Kevin, you are going to fail and said it in this very nasty way. And not only one time, but like two or three times in this very nasty, ungodly way. And I was saying the same thing to that person as well. What you are saying right now has no power over me. <sighs> Kevin, what is your point? My point is, stop being so accepting of what people say about you. I am not saying that you have to argue and fuss with them. No, I am not saying that. When people say really negative things about you or say that, hey, you are going to die and not live, you need to reject what they say verbally. Stop accepting the negativity that people are saying to you and about you. Like I said before, I am not saying that you have to argue with them. I am not saying that you have to fuss. What I am saying, verbally reject what they are saying. Because if you begin to believe what they are saying, it is going to have an effect over you. For instance, there are some women that are really, really pretty. But because of their thoughts, perhaps some people have said something negative to them when they were younger, they believe that they are hideous. Why is that? Their thoughts and their words or those people's words has an effect over them because they are choosing to believe it. Another example, some people are really, really, really thin, but they believe that they are overweight 
Why is that? That person's thoughts? Or perhaps something that happened to them when they were younger? Of being teased or whatever else? My point is, reject the negative words that people are saying about you, especially when it is not based upon the Bible. This is why I tell you to study the Bible. So when people say foolish things to you, you are going to know better. If I did not know what I knew, I would be accepting what those people were saying about me or saying to me. What type of stuff is it to where a person <laughs> says to you, Kevin, something bad is going to happen to you on this day. How do you know that? How do you know that? So obviously you are trying to place a curse on me by trying to get me to believe in what you are saying so that curse can be complete. No, I reject it. Kevin, you are going to fail. Obviously, whether you know it or not, you are trying to place a curse on me. Whether it is through ignorance or whatever else, you are trying to curse me and I reject that curse. This is what you have to do, especially when what they are saying does not align with the word of God, with the Bible. I pray that this makes sense. Stop being so accepting of what people are saying about you, especially when it is not true. You can't allow everyone to speak into your life because some people are out there not for your good. So I pray that this makes sense. Be careful of who you speak to. Everyone is not your friend. Everyone, <laughs> there are predators out there. Some people mean you harm. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.